This video talks about the basic premise of embryology of the head and neck. But before we understand how the head and neck comes about, we have to understand what are the div different development that happens in a fetus right before the development of head and neck. So at about 21 weeks, we start to see structures of the fetus like so. It starts to take the shape of a human body. And you can see that this is the this is the rostral part of the fetus, this is the caudal part of the fetus. And at the very beginning we have the pharyngeal apparatus right here which develop, develops into the head and neck, uh, the different uh, cranial nerves, um, the different cartilage, lymphatics, all that develops from the pharyngeal apparatus. So this is what we're going to be talking about in detail. But what is this? This bulging structure right here is going to develop into the heart. This is the connection to the yolk sac. So, connection to yolk sac. These are the different somites. And down here we have the spinal cord or the notochord which develops into the spinal cord. So at, as we discuss more about embryology, we will be talking about the development of each and every organ separately. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how the head and neck develops. And so now let's follow through with our pharyngeal apparatus and see what are the different structures we get from it. So this is our pharyngeal apparatus. Let's imagine this is the different little outpouchings, this little structures that develop from that pharyngeal apparatus. So notice how I drew the two sides with two different colors. There is a reason for it. I would like you to think that the pink side is the ectoderm side and the blue side is the endoderm side. And the filling inside is going to develop all the mesodermal structures from inside. So again, the pink is the ectoderm and all the structures of the ectoderm develops from the outside of the fetus. The endoderm side or the inside part of the fetus or the pharyngeal apparatus gives rise to all the structures that develop from the endoderm and the mesoderm is inside in between, sandwiched in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Now, let's start naming them. This structure that's bound by the ectoderm side and the endoderm side, this structure, one unit of this structure is called an arch. Okay, and when you look from the ectoderm side. So this invagination of ectoderm is called a groove or a cleft and you can either call them pharyngeal groove or pharyngeal cleft or brachial groove or brachial cleft. When we look from the endoderm side, this invagination is called a pouch. Again, you can call it a pharyngeal pouch or a brachial pouch because the pharyngeal develops into brachial is just an advanced form of what it's called from pharyngeal to brachial. Now, we have five arches. Initially we have six arches but our fifth arch disintegrates. So we end up 
with five arches. So this is arch one. This is arch two, three, four, and six. Like I said, this, the fifth one is going to disintegrate. When it comes to groove or cleft, there is four of them. There is one here, two, three, and four. So this is cleft one, cleft two, cleft three, cleft four. When we are in the pouch area, again there is four. Pouch one, pouch two, pouch three, and pouch four. Different structures arise from our arch, groove, and pouch. Arch develops into something, groove develops into something, and pouch develops into something. They all have different structures developing from all these namings that we have mentioned.